Uh, hi there, this is the great Johannes speaking. I thought I'd do a brief little video about how to become an emotionally stable person. I'm going to discuss individuation. Now, I'm not a psychologist, but I can give you my philosophical opinion about uh, how to emotionally mature. Uh, individuation. The psychoanalyst Carl Jung, also often referred to by uh, Jordan Peterson, he explains uh, in one of his books how he individuated from his mother. Boys and girls should individuate from their mothers, most importantly. Uh, you are born with strings attached. Your umbilical cord is still attached to your mother's uh, pancreas. Uh, and for a while, you can't even walk on your own. And then you start to walk away from mother, usually toward the father or to the outside world. And then as you keep progressing this individuation where you become more and more separate from your mother, that's how you mature as a person. Carl Jung then explained that when he was a child, like 12 years old or so, he was running along uh, a stream somewhere and simply all of a sudden felt that he had become an individual, meaning separate from his mother. This individuation is so important that uh, traditional peoples, even our own ancestors, used to have rites of passage, initiation rites for boys and sometimes also for girls, to get these children away from their mothers in a, in a location uh, unknown to them, where they will be given new sets of clothes, for example, uh, your, your grandfather's clothes or... Uh, uh, other kinds of clothing, a uniform, for example. So to signal to you that you are no longer a child and you are actually progressing toward adulthood, but you are only able to complete this process of becoming an emotionally stable person if you indeed succeed in individuating from your mother. A lot of emotionally immature people you meet outside in the world are people who are still psychologically enmeshed with their mothers, meaning... They are like mom's little avatars. If you've seen the movie Avatar, you know what I mean. You can be a host in some other's body or the other way around. And so you can then uh, control someone else from a distance. Uh, a lot of immature people are essentially the, the, the chess pieces in the mother's chess game. They have not left the chess board successfully and they have not become uh, their own players. Or to make a uh, to make a video game analogy, uh, it, say you're a playable character, but you want to be a real person. That's like like Pinocchio. If, if people still know who or what Pin Pinocchio was, uh, Pinocchio had his strings attached, but it, and then at some point he becomes a real boy. But there is a precondition for someone's individuation. Usually, if a child has received twelve to sixteen years of uh, ample support and love from the parent, or, or if the mother isn't available, then a father substitute is fine. Uh, but you need about 12 to 16 years of emotional support, not from the best parents, but just to have support at all. Uh, your parents will always make mistakes. No one is perfect. It's not about having perfect parents. It's about having parents who were there and willing to support you when you really needed it. And if you've received such support after 12 to 16 years, you will internalize that. This support becomes part of your psychology. You will know from then on that you deserve support. And if no one will give it to you, you're going to give that support to yourself because it's in your heart and in your mind and in your soul. You stored it there. However, if you did not have the sort of parents who supported you long enough, or they cut you off, or either the support wasn't there, or what happens, they cut you off at a way too early age. Say you were two years old and your mom and dad were like, hey kid, go fend for yourself. We're not going to support you anymore. Goodbye. If that, So they'll feed you and they'll clothe you and they'll uh, send you to school, right? And they'll, they'll tell you to go to bed and brush your teeth, but they do not give you emotional support. There's no emotional cushioning for you to fall back on. If you didn't have that, 
you may have the following problem, namely that you're going to spend a large portion of your adult life trying to find a substitute for the support you never had. Uh, if you're a man, for example, you're going to start looking for uh, relations with the sort of women who will play a more motherly role toward you so that they will support you rather than the other way around. Uh, as a man, you're supposed to be able to support others rather than be supported. Now, in a normal individuation process, you have succeeded in doing so. You have become an emotionally stable person who can live independently from other people. You don't need support anymore because you've internalized it. And that means you will always support yourself whenever you need it. Uh, if you have not achie achieved this level of individuation, you're going to be stuck. You're going to be somebody with a uh, stunted emotional development. You're essentially a grown person with grown-up hormones and, and grown-up mental abilities, but emotionally you're an eight-year-old or a six-year-old. It is not, however, impossible to individuate later in life. Maybe you're in your 30s or 40s or 50s and you feel like you're a slave or something because you constantly um, seek out other people's approval so what is the downside? So what's the downside of the fact that you have not individuated? The downside is that you're going to be a fairly submissive person. You will trade obedience and submission in exchange for, well, the hope for the support and the love that you still crave. You still need a couple of years of support. And you're trying to get this from other people, your peers or older people, and you're trying to get it from them but they themselves might not have individuated or they may have individuated and they're just using you because that's what independent people do. They don't feel obligated to help people. They will support themselves and their children, but they don't feel obligated to support you know, strangers or even friends. If you're the sort of friend who always does everything for other people, you're always kind and nice to them. You always help them move when they need to move to another place. But at the same time, no one is there for you when you are moving or when you are in need of emotional support. Uh, you may not have individuated yet because only independent people find within themselves the knowledge and the courage to cut loose from bad actors. Right? If you have not individuated and you have this submissive mindset toward other people where you're like, yeah, wishing and hoping you're like you're literally begging them to play the role of your mom or dad to finally give you that uh, growth process that was that you were cut short. So don't cut yourself short. And the even if if you have to individuate later in life, it may be a very very painful uh, realization for you um, to accept that your mom or dad. Uh, may have been a very selfish person who had uh, ulterior motives for you. Maybe they wanted to keep you as a slave, for example, so they would have somebody to wipe their ass when they were old. Uh, whatever they did to you or whatever way they exploited or used you or cut you short, you need to get over that. And I think, and I think you will experience extreme anger, hatred, and rage toward the whole world for a few days. And then you get over it and you realize, I am now myself. I have become my true self and I can now support myself, even if no one else will. I will always support myself. Because honestly speaking, you may be somebody who speaks the truth. That doesn't mean other people speak truth to you. They don't. 